so you're recording. What's up, guys? I'm Francesca from Bad Seed Rising. We are a band. <laughs> First day of the tour, long tour from the summer. What are some goals and expectations you have, or things you have fears or afraid of? My expectation is just to have as much fun as possible and just like, you know, do my part and, you know, play as hard as I can and as best as I can and, you know, make a lot of friends and, and you know, hopefully a lot of people will like our music. Do you have any fears? So, fears is that we're not going to be good enough or it's just like get really stressed out. I'm like, I can't do this. A lot of singers have regiments they go through before they sing and little things they do to warm their voice up. Do you have anything like that you do? Yeah, I do a lot of stretches, you know, just like do a little bit of mild yoga, nothing too intense. And then I start jumping up and down and then I do like, you know, vocal warm ups. And then I also do a lot of goofing around with my bass player and we like sing like yogurt over and over again. It's really weird. <laughs> Our magazine did a lot of work with the homeless in the past, and we're very passionate about the homeless. Have you had any experiences with the homeless? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, my dad gave me a box that I use a lot, and I put it in the back of my car, and I fill it up with food that I don't really eat, or, or like, you know, just cans. And uh, whenever I see someone homeless, like, I stop and I, like, give them food. So that's what I do. I that's guess. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever stop and get to know their stories? Or yeah. I've, I haven't really done it a lot, but, like, you know, most of the times they just kind of keep going on and on and on and on. And I just, like, I just sit there and just let them go. Because, you know, like, you probably don't really have a lot of people to talk to. You yeah, know? very true. So they, they're kind of, like, invisible to the public. And it's kind of a shame because they're all humans. They have dreams and goals, too. Yeah. I found working a lot of, with the homeless at the lowest point in their life, but they claim Jesus is their savior. What is your perception of Jesus? Um, I don't know. I, uh, I mean, I was raised in a Roman Catholic household, so I kind of believe in that kind of stuff, but I have my own morals, you know, and I have my own, like, belief in things because just times are changing and it's not the same as it was back then. So, yeah, I guess. <laughs> In today's society, social media drives a lot of things. Mm -hmm. How do you connect your fans to you through social media? Um, we always have our inboxes open, you know, and I try to be as open as possible on my internet, um, especially with Twitter. I just tweet mindlessly, like whatever I think. Sometimes it's not very good, but I do it anyway. <laughs> um, but I, we always have our inboxes open, you know, and we can we encourage people to always, you know, hit us up whenever they need anything or if, like, they just want to say hi. What uh, do your parents? What do you, are they supportive of you having music as a career? Yeah, they 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 like it. You know, sometimes they're just like, you should get a job, or like you should go to school. You know, just like I don't know, I want to like really focus on this. What advice do you have for kids today who want to start a band and make music their career? You know, find people that are just as passionate as you are. You don't have to like listen to everybody all the time. You know, it's nice to have advice, but I always say like, you know, it's it's your career and it's your passion it's your dream you have the choice to like you know do whatever you want people are going to tell you like oh well Kurt Cobain did this or like you know she did that like you should do this like kind of like that it's kind of cool right and just like yeah well it's already done no one wants to see things that's already been done before you know like they want to hear new things they want to see new things like constantly so and especially with the disposable realm you know with the internet everything's coming in through the feed it's like okay next one next one next one so you just gotta stop following people and just like do your own thing. <laughs> All right.